Well, first of all, we're gathered here in Copenhagen today, a number of countries, a number of companies, to, to pick up where the big multi multilateral organizations stop. They agree on targets, uh, but it has been lacking a little bit to agree on how to get there. And what we're trying to do here in Copenhagen today is to partner up uh, public uh, decision makers with private companies to actually to put into action all these words about green growth. And the message is, is very clear, even though we are in an economic crisis, this is the time to invest in green growth. This is the time to create new green jobs. This is what we're doing in my own country, Denmark. And I, and I really tr uh, be, truly believe that this is something that we could all benefit from globally. Well, it is, it is true that uh, all European countries, including my own, has uh, has been have had the issue of trying to make ends meet, and that means big, big uh, reforms, for example, in the labour market, and also reining in budgets and being in more control of the budget. And this is something that my government have been very keen on showing uh, through the last year. But at the same time, we believe that it is sound economy, good economy, to invest in, in new green solutions. We must remember that if we are too dependent on oil, that in the future is extremely in, uh, expensive and that's why we are now uh, turning into being more depending on wind energy, solar energy and other, other energy sources. And we believe that in the long run, this is a very good investment. Well, it is clear that while, while we are in an economic crisis, some of these uh, companies have had difficult times because government thinks that there is a contradiction between investment in green uh, in green energy and being uh, economically sound. My message, and I think the message here today from the Grow to Green Growth uh, Forum, is that you can combine being economically responsible, taking the right decision, making ends meet in the economy, and at the same time, investing in green solutions. Just recently, we adopted perhaps the, mo the world's most ambitious green energy plan, and we believe that this is in very clear parallel with what we are doing in terms of, of creating a new green growth. Well, what we've seen over the last yeah, year, and a, year and a half is uh, that even though everyone looked at Europe and thought we weren't able uh, to react to the economic circumstances, we have been able uh, to react. And Europe, the EU, has taken more far-reaching far decisions over the last year than I thought anyone would think possible. So we have, had, we have a new lending mechanism, we have a new bailout system, so we have a lot of these instruments that could help get Euro, the euro uh, through the crisis. And I firmly believe that like we have, have in the last year shown that we are capable of acting, we will show the same capacity in the coming weeks, months. We will strengthen the, the euro and we will also strengthen the banking system in, in the uh, in EU. And this is what we're working on right now. I, I'm, I'm only stating uh, the fact which is, which is that the Eurozone and the EU as such has been more than capable of responding to the crisis. What you have to remember worldwide is that we are still individual member states. We are helping each other out. And if you had looked at us just a year ago, I don't think anyone would have envisaged how much focus we should have on this issue and how many solutions we, we have had to bring about. And I think the last year, even though we're not through the crisis, even though we still have difficult decisions ahead of us, we have shown a, a clear resolve in terms of trying to solve our own problems in Europe. And I think that will lead us uh, forward in the coming weeks and months. Well, as I see it, we are all discussing that all member states together, not only the Eurozone uh, countries, and what each member uh, state is de deciding and discussion is, of course, their interest in participating. What I know from a Danish pers perspective, a non-Euro country, is that we have a clear interest in the Euro working and working well. 
and we have a clear interest also in the banking and financial system working and working well. That's what we want to uh, state very clearly when we meet our uh, European partners and then we will look into this to decide whether this is something that Denmark should participate in and I think that's a discussion that goes on in all the European countries and as I see it now we are all working together to look into how can we create this banking union, how can it be a solidarity banking union where everyone who's involved gets uh, influence and then it's up to each individual member state to decide whether they want to join or not. Well, the answer is clearly yes, of course we can keep the peg in, in place and this is what we have uh, done for many, many years and will continue to do. This is an interesting problem to have such a low interest uh, rate, uh, but it, of course it's also a positive problem because as we all know, when you have a, a, a very low interest rate, uh, you also have a good opportunity for your companies to develop, uh, to develop their business and this is of course something that we will, we will do uh, when we have this low interest rate. We understand completely that it's not, it is a sign of the crisis, but of course we are, we are proud that we have managed to put together an economy and uh, put our budget together in a way so that people from the outside can see that Denmark is a country where we are capable of taking decisions also very far-reaching decisions and, and also not very easy decisions in terms of our economy, in terms of reforming our budget. That means that we have a sustainable economy, not only today, but also in five, ten years. Of course, we're very proud of that and we will make the most of our low, low interest rate, but we do understand that it is a sign of the crisis European-wide.